Yes, hi there. Uh, these comments uh, are for Nisha. And uh, let's take a look. So you've given me a little bit more information. I think I can help you. So um, right now your TOEFL score is... I think you said 77 and you want to get as high as 100 so I think that my recommendations before are actually pretty accurate so you want to go from 77 to 100 which means I think that the 90 day TOEFL study guide will be the best one for you based on what your goals are okay so you also say in your email you say I meant to say if I can make 28 in three sections and 16 in one, that doesn't count. So I must score 18 in every section, but the overall score should not be less than 100. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you're from India, you studied English from grade one to your master's. You live in the United States since two. You say, I have very well writing skills and no grammatical. I. I disagree with you here because you're having you're having significant grammar errors in what you're saying. I would say I have lived in the United States since I was two years old, not the simple present. The simple present doesn't work there. You say, I don't have any difficulties in communicating with people. That's okay. You say, I have very well writing skills. No, I have very good writing skills. I would use good there. An adjective, not an adverb, is going to work better. You say, in the independent essays, you scored 4.5. I do not have any pronunciation problems. You want to put the S on the end, and you say you don't find any vocabulary problems. Again, put the S there. So I think you are having some problems with your writing. I can tell from your email that you sent me. But your writing score, like you said, on the TOEFL is actually pretty good. Okay, the reading section, let's see what you say. For the pressure of time chasing, I'm having a hard time to select the right answer. I'm unable to fetch the main idea from the paragraph. I cannot draw a conclusion. In the listening section, I feel like I'm easily distracted. Apart from this, I can understand the conversation or lecture clearly. So you have to eliminate those distractions. If you're being distracted during the reading or the listening sections, your score is going to go down. So you want to use my online course, especially in the reading section. Make sure you go through the vocabulary. Uh, go through the reading aspects of my course. Especially work on improving your reading speed to at least 300 words a minute. That's going to be pretty good. And then I, I probably told you before, you want to make sure that you're spending time each day listening and listening to and reading materials in English. About 90 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour watching TV, maybe history, news, and documentary, even science programs, but also you can spend about 45 minutes reading newspapers, you can read magazines, and even longer books. So that's going to be uh, better for you. So I know <coughs> you want to have a, a consultation, uh, to talk to me, I don't think that's a good idea. I've talked to students over the phone before and we get very confused. Everybody gets mixed up on many things, so I'd prefer to just have you write down what you want to say and we'll go from there. All right? Thank you.